Change doesn't scare me. It gives options and, again, opportunity. Originating from deep inside the Rocky Mountains, transported through the power of the internet, and arriving inside your tiny earbuds, it's the Appraiser Coach Podcast. Minisode. 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 Well, I can tell you that I certainly did not plan on doing so many podcasts about COVID-19 and the pandemic, but folks, I tell you, life is changing our business, our profession. The way we're doing things is changing so quickly. I can't help it. I want to pause here to remind you we are sponsored by Anow Software. Speaking of being on top of things, folks, there's a lot going on. Anow will help you keep track of it all. It's A-N-O-W.com. It's a great, great program, folks. Check it out. Anow.com. All right, folks, another COVID-19 mini-sode for you today. <laughs> so there is this feeling, and, and, and it's more than a feeling. I've heard it be, I've heard it said more than once uh, in the social media. I've heard it said to me personally during my coaching. Um, some form of the following. Dustin, I think that there's going to be a lot of flexibilities with this COVID-19 thing. We're doing the best we can. And I think people will understand if we don't get it perfectly right. Okay. (laughs) Maybe. Maybe you're right. Uh, I'm going to assume that in some cases that may be correct. However, I think that we need a plan that in some cases we may be the exact opposite of correct in that statement. Meaning, Folks, there is going to come a time when all of this pandemic stuff is going to calm down. There's going to be a time that, God help us, we get a, a vaccine, we, we get uh, something, right, that's going to help to solve this quote-unquote crisis, okay? And I'm, no, I'm not going to get on my soapbox. I'm going to talk political. I know a lot of you think it's outblown, and frankly, I've had similar feelings, okay? We're not going to go there today. But the bottom line is, we don't need to talk about if it's real, if it's not, if it's a, a conspiracy, if it's not, whether it came from the wet market or the virus place in Wuhan. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. What matters is reality. And, and reality is, folks, our lives have changed dramatically, hopefully temporarily, because of this quote-unquote crisis. Now, as appraisers, our lives have changed dramatically as well. We are changing the way we do inspections. We're changing the way that we report things. We're changing the way we get data. And, folks, that comes with it. Some Every change comes opportunity, right? And there's opportunity here. And I love the opportunity with change. I don't look at change as a bad thing. I look at it as an opportunity And I'm going to keep using that word as an opportunity to see a different way of doing things. And I love that. I love that because, you know, I'm a a kind of the outside the box thinker and I'm looking for opportunity at every turn. So change doesn't scare me. It gives options and, again, opportunity. That being said, with change also comes caution. And we've got to be careful. And those that are saying, you know, they're going to give us a pass. Okay, maybe. You know, let me let me give you a, an example. I was talking to a coaching client uh, just the, the first of this week, and we were talking about the changes. We were talking about different things. And one of the comments, and again, I'm paraphrasing, but one of the comments was, well, Dustin, you know, with these desktops, these 1004 desktops for Fannie Mae, you know, in one section, that hasn't changed. The, the, the scope of work, the certifications are still there. They physically are still there, and they physically say, I did a walkthrough, an interior full, at minimum. And I'm not, I don't have one in front of me, but it says basically at minimum, I walked around the outside and the inside of the property, and we're signing our name to that. Well, Dustin, how can we, a couple of pages later, say we didn't actually do that? I know it says this, but we actually did this. And the comment came, well, Dustin, I think they're, you know, they're going to be, you know, patient with us because everybody knows that we're doing the best we can. Well, frankly, I, I agree. I agree with that statement. I think that whoever they are, they are going to be patient with us, right? Okay, great. What if they're not? What if they're not? In fact, what if... I'm just going to throw out, again, I don't, I'm not a fear, doom and gloom guy, right? But, but I am a realist. I'm an optimist, but I'm a realist. Let's look at this from the realist perspective. Let's fast forward three years from now. Pandemic's over. Buybacks are starting to happen. Fannie Mae is pointing her finger at ABC Bank in your hometown and saying, why did you sell me this piece of junk paper? And ABC Bank says, well, it's not our fault, Fannie. Stop blaming us. It was the appraiser's fault. The appraiser over-appraised. And frankly, the appraiser said that he did the walkthrough and he didn't. Well, granted, he, you know, a couple pages later said he didn't, but that's that's a problem. Do you think Fanny's going to stand up and say, well, yeah, but, you know, we told him it was okay. <laughs> good luck with that. Good luck with that. Folks, good luck as well keeping up with all of these changes and everything that's going on. I don't know about you, but I had another record-breaking month 
in April. What an awesome thing to see things continue to roll out. Uh, it is great. Change is good. And we're doing great. But folks, you got to keep track of everything that's going on. Right now, we're doing so much appraisal, it's hard to be a CEO. Well, let ANOW help you. Let ANOW do part of the work. It can't do all the work. You still have to make the big decisions. But folks, you don't have to spend time crunching numbers and keeping track of 123 Any Street and what process are we in? Are we choosing comps? Are we making adjustments? Where is this thing? AMC just called me. They want this thing ASAP. They want to know how we're doing. I don't know. i got too much else going on. Folks, ANOW will help you. In fact, it will, it will put you light years ahead of where you're at when it comes to keeping track of both your orders and your business. Check them out by going to anow.com. That's spelled A as in appraisers now, N-O-W, anow.com. All right, folks, welcome back to the program. I want to talk a little bit about this word credible. Uh, it is a word, not incredible, but credible. It's a word you hear often when it comes to appraisals because we, as appraisers, are supposed to do two things. We're supposed to base our results on credible information, and we're supposed to not be misleading. Well, folks, in this turmoil, in this topsy-turvy world of COVID-19, it's very challenging to stay on top of that. But folks, don't forget, okay? Granted, there may be some passes that we're given because we're in a crisis and we're doing the best we can, but don't count on it. When it comes to money, when it comes to collateral, when it comes to the paper that that collateral is signed with, Folks, they're going to point fingers at anybody that they can. So please, please, please be careful. Don't forget that even during COVID-19, we still have to have credible results and we cannot be misleading. Lest us not forget the scope of work rule. This is part of your USPAP, folks. I'm going to read to you from USPAP, the scope of work rule. Ready? You all know this, but just as a quick reminder, quote, for each appraisal and appraisal review assignment, an appraiser must, one, identify the problem to be solved. Number two, determine and perform the scope of work necessary to develop, oh, here it is, credible assignment results. And number three, disclose the scope of work in the report. Do you see that what we're doing is fret with problems? And I'm not saying we shouldn't be doing it. I'm doing it every day. I'm just saying to be careful. Let me keep reading. Quote, an appraiser must identify or properly identify the problem to be solved in order to determine the appropriate scope of work. In other words, whose decision is the scope of work? Folks, it's the appraisers. Now, well, Dustin, Fannie Mae told me to do a desktop. They're determining the scope of work. No, they're determining what they want done on this report. It's up to you, the appraiser, to decide whether or not there is credible information, whether or not there is enough information that you will not be misleading in that report. And folks, let me just state it boldly. If there is not, you should not accept the assignment. Well, Dustin, that's $450 down the drain. If there is not credible information, folks, well, Dustin, some other appraiser is going to accept it and they're going to do it. Okay, let that appraiser get in trouble. Folks, if you don't have enough information, I'm going to keep reading here, but if you don't have enough information to properly, there's a key word there, identify the problem to be solved in order to determine the appropriate, there's another key word, scope of work, the appraiser must be prepared to demonstrate that the scope of work is sufficient, there's another key word, to produce credible, another key word, assignment results. Okay, and then there's a comment. Scope of work includes but is not limited to, listen to this, the extent to which the property is identified, the extent to which tangible property is inspected. What? Wait a minute, I thought USPAP didn't word, use the word inspected. Well, it's right there. The type and extent of data researched and the type and extent of analysis applied to arrive at opinions or conclusions. Folks, USPAP does not require an inspection, okay? But if an inspection is necessary to produce credible results and get credible information so that your report is not misleading and you're not able to because of the pandemic, folks, please, please, please turn the assignment down. Let Joe down the road do it and let Joe down the road hang himself. Don't do it because it's $450 that you can't bear to see wash down the drain. Folks, please, please, please be careful, okay? Now, I'm doing desktop appraisals on a 1004. I get it. It's fraught with, with, with challenges, okay? Great, great, uh, great show growing up. I, I don't know why, but, but, but my family had a cult following when it came to the Goonies. Loved that show. There's a part in the Goonies when they're playing the notes and uh, on this old organ, and if they hit the wrong note, right, then the, the floor falls, and they're all dead. And at one point she says, uh, is this an, an A sharp or a B flat? And, and, and the other character says, well, if you hit the wrong note, we're all going to be flat. Folks, if you do the wrong thing on these reports, we might be flat. Be careful. Be careful. Be sharp. 
okay? When it comes to getting the right data, understanding your scope of work, understanding that USPAP still applies, even a pandemic. Folks, let me help you be a part of a great community who is every day, every day, and it's only increased during the pandemic. We have a great bunch of chatter going on on our private Facebook page when it comes to the All-Star Team. And right now, it is absolutely free. Okay, now write this down. you got to use this coupon code. It's free, and This is all cap. Free 30 All-Star. It is the number 30. Free, F-R-E-E, 30 All-Star. No spaces, no hyphens, no underlines. All caps, free 30 All-Star. Would love to have you be a part. Thank you, folks. We'll catch you soon. Be careful out there. You've been listening to the Appraiser Coach Podcast with Dustin Harris. If you like what you hear, please give us a five-star rating and post a short review on iTunes. For more in-depth insider information on how you can make more money as a real estate appraiser, visit theappraisercoach.com and sign up for the All-Star Team today. Thanks for joining us. And now, get out there and create some value.